Hey, welcome people all over the world. So we are now uh, uh, shortly before the third presentation we are doing today. Um, um, Avicu de Silva is joining us from Brazil. Um, and he will talk about using Joomla in your branding strategy. Um, so, Avicu, if you have, um, if you are ready, you can start. Okay, thank you very much, Robert. Good uh, night, good evening, good morning to everyone who is listening all around the world. And my name is Alessio, you may call me Elvis, and I will be presenting today using Joomla in your brand strategy. Uh, I'm a graphic designer and I work in Brazil. I have my own business and uh, where I create visual design strategies for small businesses. So let's start with a question. Brand, branding and brand strategy. Yes, there is a lot of confusion about those words. Uh, Let's start trying to understand a little bit better what's a brand. A brand is something that will uh, give you emotional and will uh, provide you with experiences that will uh, come to with you in uh, emotional level. And uh, so uh, people will have uh, through a consistent ton of visual uh, recognition, the representation uh, of the advantage of a company. Uh, you can say that the brand, it speaks for itself. A lot of brands out there, when you look at them, you will see, you will recognize immediately, either by the color, by the shape, or for some feature like uh, a dress code. And those uh, may give you some feeling that will uh, make you, uh, will touch you in a different level. According to Jeff Bezos, your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. So it's what people are saying and good or bad. Branding is a marketing practice. And the main goal of branding is to shape a distinctive brand. With it, you can use a set of uh, strategies that will uh, help you help your business have its brand known by the audiences, not only by the public in general, but for the people that will. Uh, or may benefit from whatever you are, your service you're providing or the product, the product that you are offering. With through branding is, you will you have a way to communicate the values of your company on your business, and those are found through this strategy through this practice one after the other. Branding is not something that you will do easily. It's a project that you uh, have several steps to take. And one of them is uh, designing your brand identity. What you will discover in when you uh, develop, your, when you design your branding, is that what people think. And you will start to understand 
why you do what you do, what you do, and how you do it. This is very important because learning and what why you do what you do is the key to success to the success of many business a lot of people a lot of companies they present uh, at first the how and what but they forget completely to let people know the why so why they do it why am I a graphic designer? I have an answer for that. Why you do what you do if you have your own business. That's very important. And it's something that you should be very con uh, 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 concerned when designing your branding uh, strategy. And the good thing about that is that you will discover things that you may not even be aware about you your business and how those two interact. And finally, we come to the brand strategy. The brand strategy is something that uh, if you put get a piece of paper and you write on it, you will find who, what, when, where, and how and why of the communication of your organization's brand, of your business brand. These are questions. These are topics that sure are sure to be answered. And so after you answer that, it will be a starting point for you to create something that will be very meaningful to on a, from the moment you start applying your brand strategy. So why is it important? Scott Goodson, he's the founder of an agency called Strawberry Frog said, People don't have relationships with products. They are loyal to brands. Brands can inspire millions of people to join a community. The first thing that came to my mind when I read this a long time ago was Joomla. Joomla is a brand that has inspired people over the last 15 years to be part of this global community that creates an amazing content management system and which has been going from version to version and now soon we'll be reaching ver version four and it's been growing stronger more flexible with a series of good features great features that will help you create a great website and uh, manage your content. So uh, Joomla is a great example of how people start having a relationship and it might uh, bring out different feelings, good or bad, but there's always something more in there than just dealing with a product. And so nowadays it's easy to find, uh, for example, that uh, how uh, this CMS has been growing, to see how it's been growing over the past uh, decade and a half and getting better and better just because of this relationship that the brand Joomla has created with its community. And uh, it's important, the brand strategy is important because it shows you a way to go. It shows you that it gives you a roadmap that points you towards directions that will uh, help your business grow. And uh, not only you, your business, but also your employees, and or in or associates in your customers of course 
and partners and whoever work with you to make your uh, business stand. Uh, two, in time, uh, you create a meaningful connection with your audience. Uh, people who work for you will better will be able to better communicate your brand's message to customers and showing them what a great experience they will be having by using your service or products. And uh, your customers will be happy. And when working all this together, they will become your brand advocates. So they will start talking about your brand. We have a lot of examples to talk about, but let's go and talk about the one of the best known example, which is Apple. Nowadays, it's hard to find a, a person who uses an Apple computer that is not really satisfied just because uh, of the brand, what it means to own an Apple computer. Uh, Apple does make good computers, but like any other, many other companies. And, uh, but in time through a lot of branding strategy, uh, they, reached a level where it's become like uh, they raised a bar very high. So people always look up to Apple as a symbol of a brand that uh, should be uh, used as a point of uh, study for any other brand to grow and to become, to get awareness around the public so if you think i mentioned apple apple is a huge company but that doesn't mean that only huge and big companies are uh, able to use brand strategy any company can use a brand strategy if you work by yourself if you're an entrepreneur and you have you're working from home uh, on a regular basis and it doesn't it you can also benefit from having your brand strategy because it will help you understand better your business and your audience and anyone who you, you work with and you sell your product to or service so now uh, let's get to the best part of this presentation, of course. Uh, it is uh, how Joomla can be used in your brand strategy. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I have uh, gathered together some uh, features that uh, Joomla uh, ships natively. And starting with those, you already have great ways to work your brand strategy. Let's start with custom templates. Uh, let's say that your company color is red and uh, your logo is red and you sell a uh, some product that uh, must be displayed, like a restaurant, for example. So if you have a, a ability to create a custom template that will fit exactly into your brand strategy, it's going to be easier for people to understand what your business is about at the first glance, people will open up your website and say, oh, it's a restaurant, even if they find your website by chance. And you, they will see the colors, the colors that are used 
in the restaurant itself, in all the stationery, in the delivery cars that you might, the business might have. And uh, so any part of the visual, of the brand identity can be aligned with your website through a custom template. So uh, it's very important to when you, des de de you, you de design your brand strategy that you consider uh, creating your website and you plan ahead to see how it's going to look like and what kind of features it will provide. For example, again, in a restaurant, you may have a delivery uh, system. So you have an e-commerce on your website and people, once they uh, visit your website, they will be able to easily <coughs> purchase uh, food from your restaurant and have it delivered to your to their homes. <coughs> I'm sorry. And uh, so all this can be uh, planned and thought when you are creating your the template for this kind of business because uh, Joomla uh, Joomla has a very flexible way to create your a template and, uh, and it also has 30 third party extensions that will help you in that process. Or you can hire a designer to create your custom template. Or you, if you have any knowledge on HTML and CSS, you can create on yourself. You create your custom template yourself. And you can have your template, uh, each section look in a different way, but at the same time following the guidelines of your uh, brand strategy. For example, the restaurant, it serves meat, it serves uh, vegetarian food, and it serves desserts. So uh, remember that the, I said that the restaurant has a red, has chosen to in its visual, in its uh, visual identity, its brand identity to be red. So it could have red. So when you're in a page that is, uh, sells meat, you can have red and orange. On a vegetarian page that you uh, display the products, vegetarian food, it could be red and green. And on the dessert page, it can be red and uh, blue. Just a few examples. So uh, Joomla gives you this great flexibility when creating a custom, creating a template that will fit right into your brand strategy. Next is articles, categories, and tags. This has pretty much to do with the content itself. Joomla, it's very easy to, uh, organize, to organize your content because it starts with the articles. So uh, every information that is text and image on your website, like your, uh, let's go back to the restaurant example. And about the restaurant, uh, general, the history of the, the, the restaurant, uh, the, its missions, values, and uh, written text in general, or they can use this, they can use an article and the article can create it can be created uh, right inside Joomla. You don't have to do it anywhere else. You can do it in Joomla and uh, it will be, uh, you will be saving, of course. And it will be re ready to, for publishing very quickly. And articles, usually they are uh, 
categorize. So you can create a category and uh, assign those articles to these categories. So you start organizing your content inside your Joomla site. Also, we have a new, another feature that are the tags. And with the tags, you have an extra layer of organizations that will uh, help you uh, bring stuff together. So you will present the content to your customers, to your audience, in a way that will be easier for them to reach, to understand, and to purchase. And uh, the easier it is, the better for your audience. And oh, after that, we have the menus. Now, the menus is how you navigate through your uh, Joomla site. So uh, basically, you can have any kind of menu you want, any kind of nav navigation you want. It all depends on how you want to design your website. So back to our example, we have a restaurant that has uh, that homepage that probably features uh, their products, what they serve, what kind of food they offer. They might be talking about the restaurant, what kind of food they serve and why they serve it. And then you have the menus where you we see uh, prices and features of the food that's served. And then you might have a contact uh, page uh, with the information about the, how to get to the uh, restaurant or how to ask for, uh, how to order uh, food to be delivered at your place, you see? And all this will be in the navigation. So the navigation will handle every kind of content that is available inside your Joomla site not only the articles, but you will see the next item is the contact form. The contact form is not an article. It's a separate separate uh, kind of extension. Uh, let's say it's, it's, na it's native to Joomla, but it's not an article. So the contact form is a way you create a contact form, of course. And so it can be easily added to your menu and will be there on your navigation on the fly. So it's going to be very quickly. And last, uh, we, but not least, and for the user experience, it's the ability of Joomla in creating multilingual websites. With multilingual websites, you can uh, uh, be available, available for audiences all around the globe. Say your business is in Europe, in Germany, for example, and you have an office in the Americas and another office in Australia and another office in Japan. And so you can create multilingual websites that will be ready to uh, present information about your business in any of these areas. We have a global community of translators that have been working on Joomla, translating it in each, translating it in several languages. I think the latest, we have up to 70 uh, languages. Joomla has been translated to Something between 65 and 70, I'm not sure right now. And so, and uh, it's amazing how it is easy for you to reach out for your audience in anywhere in the world. And of course, if you have a business that's uh, originally uh, multinational, it's going to be very 
easy for you to set up a, your Joomla website because all you have to do is install the language that you need and you're good to go. And if for some reason you find that a certain translation is not the exact one that you need to, you can go into the administrator of Joomla and create a language override. So you can change the translation of certain words or sentences to what fits best to your audience. When it comes to finding your business, Joomla comes with some native features regarding SEO that, it, that are very helpful to any website. When SEO is the search in engine optimization. So it's how uh, search engines see your website and how they display the information that's available on your website uh, on those search engines. So uh, Joomla can easily uh, be configured to uh, have user-friendly URLs. And uh, the greatest thing about SEO, it's, it's a, it is a feature that will draw traffic to your website. So the better you work on your SEO, the better you learn what Joomla has to offer, you will be starting with the right foot to have a website. And depending on where you are, on what kind of service, what Joomla has to offer is already a lot. Of course, you can always improve when it comes to SEO, but uh, you don't have to rush. Joomla right out of the box will allow you to have a website that will be easily found by any search engine. One another one of the pluses of Joomla is the 30 third party extensions. So uh, when you have in your brand strategy need for things that uh, do not come natively in Joomla, it's easy to get a third party extension and install it in Joomla. For example, back to the restaurant ex uh, example, uh, we, uh, we, they might need an e-commerce. Joomla has a quite a few e-commerce solutions that will uh, help you set up your uh, store on or your restaurant on Joomla quickly. Or uh, and the, everything is very customizable. So if things do not come in the way that reflect the guidelines of your brand strategy, they will be, you will have the ability to make it as you need it, okay? And uh, also, uh, I would like to uh, talk a little about uh, advertisement because besides the fact that you can advertise in Joomla, uh, using some native uh, features like banners that nowadays are a little out of use, but it's easy by using other uh, third-party extensions to uh, create, uh, to have, you know, to present uh, advertisements from third-party uh, providers in your Joomla website, that uh, depending on what kind of website and if it needs to show these ads. And there's so much more that will help you. So if you look further, you will see that Joomla can be a great help. And if you have a uh, any questions about it, feel free to ask me. And I'm sure it's going to be a great asset for your brand strategy. 
thank you very much. If you have any questions, just call me. These are my contacts on Instagram and my website. Uh, thank you very much. Well, I'm waiting. I don't know if I'm still online. So if there's any questions, feel free to ask. I'm waiting for Robert to let me know if there are any questions from the audience. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and uh, Let me try to reach. I'm not sure if they know that I'm finished. And hello. Ah, yeah, sorry, the microphone was was connected. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I just rearranged the setting here.